How's it going guys? It's been a while since we did a programmer humor episode on this uh, channel so I'm gonna look at our programmer humor and react. Hold on, turn on some lights. It's, it's too dark in here. Can't see my own face. Ugh. Okay, so what do we got? We're gonna just scroll through, do some reactions, and try to have a laugh or maybe a cringe. We'll see. You never know. The first one, Dunder Soft Inc. The cast of The Office it looks like they're about to drop the hottest software update of 2007. 2007. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. 409k slacking off at work. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's home. Okay. Promoted. Promoted. Get out of here. This isn't promoted. No real words have been ever been sent. Credit to Forgot Dude's name. How coffee works. Coffee. <laughs> Magic. Code. Note that the lack of anything passing through the brain. <laughs> oh, that's good. How to hard boil an egg. Duplicate. How long should I cook a turkey? How can I tell if the egg is still fresh? I want a hard boiled egg with my breakfast. How long should I put it in for? Wait, okay. I've got to see what the rest of this is. is it what? Okay, hold on. One of these has negative 4,000. i got to read that one in a sec. You're asking the wrong question. What it is you're trying to achieve with this breakfast? Hard boiling an egg is known as an anti-pattern. This isn't even a properly breakfast related. <laughs> Thank you for this. It's so annoying when someone gives you a hard boiled egg. I'm surprised the person asking this question hasn't been fired yet. Boiling eggs is not recommended any under any circumstances you can fry, poach, or scramble, or perhaps make an omelet. Trying to boil an egg is a sign of inexperience and will result in bad things happening. How long does this keep going? Okay, let's look at this negative 4,000 one. Seven minutes. Increase the size of the... Okay. Seven minutes if you want it slightly sticky, going up to ten minutes or properly hard. Hi, right, welcome to Stack Overflow. Please take the time to read the rules before posting so that you don't make such a big fool of yourself next time. We're a friendly bunch here, so it's okay if you're an inferior human being and clearly don't know what you're doing. Just be sure not to post here again. That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> oh, everybody upvoted the crap out of the, the ridiculous answers and downvoted the... <laughs> the actual answer that's all right okay sort of funny but okay i why what october to december is usually a big blur anyways officer someone used floats to store dates and you thought this was a police matter jesus christ hello fbi we got a situation way above my pay grade <laughs> All right. This utilities company only lets me pay via credit card online and then demands a 3.5% fee for convenience, despite it being the only stated method. The good news is that they allow multiple payments towards a single bill. So, guess who wrote a script to make 1,785 payments of 14 cents? I'm guessing... Okay. not entirely sure I see the point of this. I'm guessing the 3.5% of 14 cents rounds down to zero, and that way he can get no convenience fee. If that's the case, well, nice. All right. Meme. The hidden rule came up. Three rules. No wishing for death. No falling in love. No bring back dead people. I want JavaScript to support multi-threading. There are four, four rules. <laughs> Uh, only finishing a code project at 4 a.m. Error checking? Zero. Comments? Zero. Sleep? Zero. I like that. The world doesn't know the hor horrors of it. You can't keep doing the same thing expect different results. Let me introduce you to debugging. 
<laughs> uh, too close to home. Let's move on. And it's Friday afternoon. Bug in production. Team lead. Me. In and out. 20 minute adventure. We know how that goes. It do be like that. Every stack overflow answer about bash. Answer one. Use var whatever. Comment number one. No, it's more jargon. Comment number two. No, it's more jargon. Comment number three. No, it's even more. Yeah, sounds about right. Macros everywhere. Okay. This is a parent child process. Import something as mom import Boaz as dad class Sophia mom dot jeans dad dot jeans welcome home definite self hello world live true self true while true self go to sleep yield bardak self be awesome it's a pretty cool little onesie promoted this isn't a this isn't a programmer get out of here okay got bored at work today my project manager stressing about bugs in production. Me making memes about them instead of fixing them. <laughs> ah, websites nowadays be like, cookies? Please accept our cookies. Developer. Okay, sorry, wrong window. Developer, git, push, origin, master force. Developer, sorry, wrong window. Every other developer in the chat channel. What are you doing? <laughs> Push Origin Master Force. Yeah, that's a uh, big no no in production. You always have bugs to crush your hopes. When you run your program, it doesn't display any errors. Don't do that to me. Don't give me hope. <laughs> May the merge begin, Matt Penning says. Once a year for 12 hours. Any pull request will be accepted without any review whatsoever. All tech debt is legal. Introducing the merge. We all dream about it. We're canceling daily stand-up. Why do people hate daily stand-up? I think I know. Is it because, uh... Well, there's probably a, a multitude of reasons. I mean, some some things are great, and you can finish them in one day. And, and at the next stand up, you'd be like, "Well, I finished that. Now I'm working on this, and it sounds good." But a lot of the time, it's going to be like, "Well, I thought I could finish this, but I couldn't, so I'm still working on it." And the next day, "Well, I thought I could finish this, but I'm still working on it." And it, so it's just like, oh, "I'm getting tired of these stand ups. Can I just go work on my thing and and not have to publicly embarrass myself every morning?" But also the point of the stand-up is like if you're stuck, maybe someone else has the answer and you don't have to spend days on it because Joe in accounting can be like, oh, I understand how that works. I don't I don't know why I know stuff about programming and I'm in accounting and that is stand-up, but that's the example that came to my mind and it's a bad example. Deal with it. All right, JavaScript. If human beings evolve new organs as frequently as they do JavaScript frameworks, you can bet the doctors would be googling it too. Too much pain. Developer, I finished the project. It is ready for QA. QA, I've run all the tests. Project contains no known bugs. Now the end user. <laughs> too much pain. <laughs> Causes too much pain and agony. Don't know why it's so popular nowadays. I'm going to use toilet paper. Oh God. <laughs> AI, ML, DL, propaganda summarized. When you're fundraising, it's AI. When you're hiring, it's ML. When you're implementing, it's linear regression. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Okay. User Supersonic16 made this when talking to someone saying Python is better than C Sharp. Mom, there's a monster under my bed. It's hiding the most hideous thing I've ever seen. Why do you hate me, brother? <laughs> indentation error. Expected an indentation block. Syntax error. Missing parentheses in call 
to print. Did you mean print Python? Uh, what? I don't know what it's mean. But whatever. Oh, more promoted. Thanks, Reddit. Way to tank your own website with advertisements and promotions. What is this, Facebook? Looks like Facebook. Alright, thanks for helping me pretend I know how to code. Processing.py, programmers. P5.js, programmers. Lovely. Alright, and here's everyone else holding them up. Their beautiful land. C++ programmers, .NET programmers, interpreter programmers, people who know what machine code is. Ah, uh, so true. Yeah. Well, the nice thing about these frameworks is you can test out algorithms, but yeah, with these ones, well, I don't know. Especially C++ and machine code, you really have to understand how memory works, because it's just not all taken care of for you. Been on the job hunt for three months. Made this to sum up my experience with Recruiter. Hello, I have an amazing junior level opportunity for you. Are you interested? Yes, tell me more. This position requires five years of experience. Alright, I'm going to head out. Ugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? Okay. No comment. Name this song. Try. Assert real life, assert fantasy. Catch, landslide, exception. Region, reality, while true. Character eyes for each. Open, orient, direction, sky. <laughs> Self dot wealth equals null. Self dot sex equals male. Sympathies dot clear. F come difficulty equals equal. And go difficulty equals easy. And self dot high is less than one and low is less than one. Is this the caught in a landslide? I guess. I don't know. Switch wind direction. All the cases are going to go self dot matter equals false. Anywhere the wind flows, it doesn't even matter. Being in a play break. Oh, that's great. Me at 3 a.m. coding the most complex algorithm. Me later while debugging. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. The first guy to get a stack over low exception must have been like you get a stack overflow exception for the first time. Wow. Senior developer, when you're 12, but have five years of coding experience. All hail the pyramid. Wow. It's beautiful. My life story. New feature? Bugs. <laughs> Alright, that's going to do it for this episode. Proudly sponsored by spam on reddit get your frontier internet today slow frequently disconnects you can't stream you can barely watch youtube frontier thank you have a good one guys keep on coding and i uh, hope to see you in the next episode of uh programmer slammer goodbye <laughs>